know, let's say you are deploying your existing web application to an on-premise server or a VM in the cloud. Typically, in, in the production or, or other environments, we will have multiple servers with load balancing implemented. In such systems, when a new version of the application is deployed, all the servers need to be updated simultaneously. Now, if we, if we want to implement a continuous integration and deployment automation here, we need to ensure our release pipeline can connect and deploy to all the servers at a time. ADVO allows us to manage the same using deployment groups. A deployment group is a set of server grouped under one and when a pipeline is configured to use a deployment group, the tasks can the tasks configured in the pipeline will be executed across all the registered servers in the group. So when when we can create a a, a deployment group uh, uh, from the pipeline section. So here in the pipelines, you see the option of deployment groups, wherein I can go ahead and say I add a new deployment group. Let me give a name. Let's say staging. Uh, servers and then create. Now, uh, depending on your uh, operating system of your servers, uh, you will have to execute the, the script which is shown here to register the particular server on, as part of this deployment group. So you can change your uh, operating system from Windows or Linux, uh, you know, and then you you get the uh, the script accordingly. So once once you select this and run it across, uh, run on the Windows uh, server with uh, in a PowerShell with admin privilege. It will set up, you know, uh, the server for as part of the deployment group and you will be able to see all the targets registered under this deployment group here. So when a pipeline is created and configured to use this uh, deployment group, all the servers in the group will be uh, will 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 have the code uh, or the script executed uh, as per the steps for all the servers.